Hey everybody, Robles Jr. here, and today we're going to take a look at a plugin that allows us to boot up to a specific application. And one of the more popular apps to go into right away would be the Switch UI or the One Menu UI, which is personally one of my favorites, and it just looks super clean. And so this plugin will allow you to go directly into an application when you restart your system or when you powered it on after a nice charge and that way you don't have to go specifically to that app once you restarted your system so and the one thing that sucks about this application is that it only works for 3.60 and 3.65 firmware so if you're on 3.73 this will not work unfortunately so uh, the best way to get this all installed is through Auto Plugins 2 or 1, either one works. But if you don't have this application, I highly recommend you guys downloading it and installing it. That way, you don't have to go on your PC to constantly go through the configuration of installing the different lines into your configuration text and things like that. Let's get into Vita Plugins and go into Install Plugins. And we will scroll down to Auto Boot by Renegade version 1.2, and only for 3.60 and 3.65. So let's hit X to install. And once it's installed, we're going to press Start to restart our Vita. Once your system reboots, it should go into Vita Shell. And that's the default application that it will jump into or for me personally it will go into one menu but we're gonna change that here as you can see it worked just fine and if you're installing it for the first time you should go into Vita shell right away which is exactly where we want to go head on over to your UXO folder and go down to app and depending which application you'd like to boot up first we're gonna copy that name and I will do the switch view UI and this one should be this name here so we have S V E W four zeros and one so you want to remember that name that title or whatever application you want to jump into you can write it down and now we're gonna head on over to data so I just hit circle to go back Go under data and find auto boot and you'll see a boot.cfg file press x to enter and you should see vita shell as a default when you're first installing this plugin and we want to press x again and here we can edit the line so delete that entire line by pressing square and now i will type in the switch title in all caps so it was S V E W zero fours one two three four and one. Press the the I'm just gonna say triangle the arrow button that goes down, and that should save. Once you hit circle, do you want to save your modifications? Hit yes to save, and now we want to reboot our system by pressing start, and go down to reboot. Alright, so my system is fully rebooted and I should go into the Switch UI application. Here we go. Wow, look at that. Very smooth. Switch View UI is loading. And it went right into the app. That is so awesome. That is so cool. Gotta love these plugins. They do such a great job. It's fairly simple to go back home. Just press your PS button or home button and you're good to go. So this only affects any time you're rebooting or restarting your system and it will go directly into that application. If you no longer want this plugin, head on back to Auto Plugin and there under Vita Plugins, go to Uninstall Plugins and use your D-pad to switch the section and under your main you'll see the autoboot.suprx and you can uninstall it from there. And if you want to change to another application, just go back to that configuration under data, auto boot, boot.cfg, and just change that name to whichever 
app you'd like to boot up into next. Again, to view all the different names of your apps, just go under your UXL folder, go to app, and make sure you type in the correct name of the application you're trying to boot into. And you don't need the backslash in the name that will screw up the boot. So just make sure to type in the name only. And that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please comment down below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.